Hey guys, Howard here with another cross-picking lesson, a cross-picking extravaganza. Uh, as a heads up on this one, I've got full tutorials for each of these pieces that I've kind of moshed together, so I'll explain. I'm combining two tunes together. All of these compositions are in the same vein. It's a compositional style that he was using at the time, and so it involves these really cool cross-picking patterns. They're all pretty similar, but they're different time signatures. I won't get too technical about it, uh, but let's get into it. So let me play that for you first, and then we'll talk about how to play it. Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, a quick heads up on this, uh, John McLaughlin actually plays a lot of these chord voicings using his thumb, right? Uh, I don't choose to use my thumb, it's no big deal, you can use your thumb if you want to, uh, but I play it Paco de Lucia style, <laughs> okay? When they played together, you can see John using his thumb and Paco just playing, playing the chords like that, okay? So as you can see, we are sharing some of the same chord voicings for sure. All of these compositions are in the same style. And uh, so uh, let me slow this one down first. We started out with Meeting of the Spirits, and it's the same thing, down, down, up, down, up, right? But he's got these notes in between. Second fret, and then open string. And I just approach those with alternate strokes. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we move to the next chord, same idea. Down, down, up, down, up. fret and then the open string. So that whole riff, nice and slow, is... Very Phrygian sounding. Very cool, right? So we play that like four times, and then we move right into Birds of Fire. Now, John McLaughlin lists this as being an 18-8 time, okay? And what he means is the full cycle before it turns around. But you can count it out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, okay? If you do need to count it out. Um, but anyway, the picking is the same. You can see it's sort of a dominant seventh type shape and uh, employing those open strings again, okay? So here it is. Nice and slow. So you can see it's the same down, down, up, down, up. And then for the three notes in between, I just, I just use alternate picking. And then start it over again a whole step higher. Those two together is really quite uh, an excellent cross-picking exercise. Really cool stuff from JM. Anyway, there you go with another cross-picking uh, lesson, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we shall see you soon.